Hello, I'm Fernando. I've been creating things in Minecraft for many years and I'm keen to share some of the journey that I go through while researching and designing builds. If you like this content, just let me know and I can make more. Um, so right now, I'm kind of halfway through a build uh, and let's talk about what it is, why I chose this project, um, kind of the journey so far, and I guess why I'm ripping it down right now instead of building it, uh, and what's going on. So I will cut to a bit of history um, while I just continue working through this. So every time I play on a different SMP, I choose a style or a something to do for that season. And in this latest season, I was trying to think about what I was going to do. There's actually a number of ideas, but I started to think that I wanted to build a rocket ship. And I was thinking about like an underground silo and just different ways that there might be, I don't know, just something. And then I thought, well, actually, a realistic rocket like the Saturn V, which is the one that um, the Apollo missions went to the moon back in the 60s. I thought that would be really cool. And then I started, the more I started to think about, well, actually a realistic Saturn V, do I want to do um, just the rocket? You can't really just have a rocket sitting in the middle of nowhere. So maybe put it on a, um, on a launch pad. Um, but then I, then I, I don't know, I was kind of searching around for a bit and I worked out that the Saturn V rockets are made in a building called the Vertical Assembly Building. Um, which uh, was originally called the Vertical Assembly Building, but got renamed as the Vehicle Assembly Building. And so I was looking at this and thought, well, that would be that would be a logical first step, right? So before you make the rocket, you make the building for, to to then make the rocket. Um, so that was that was kind of fun. And I thought, well, that's actually a nice big project because you can kind of uh, I can get the shape of it. I can it's pretty standard materials because like, I wanted to build like a, something really big as well um, and that's just got nice big kind of looking at that naturally white concrete or something like that um, just enough kind of good balance of details and stuff so uh, I was also thinking it would be really cool to based on the fact um, somewhere in here I worked out that it's 160 meters high there it is um, and I was trying to think about how to get the actual dimensions. But then I thought, well, actually, I did a bunch of searching for just some 3D models. And I found this one, which I quite liked, from um, Stanley Creative. And I thought, well, that's actually pretty good. And there are tools that I've used previously where you can actually load up a 3D model and then import it into Minecraft and then I can use World Edit to fix it all up and change materials and tune it and tweak it and then I can capture a schematic using Lightmatica um, and then I can start building it. So I'll show you some of the challenges I had with that. Okay, so I've downloaded the GLB file. Um, I load that in. This model is actually really annoying based on the orientation and where the center point is because this tool doesn't really zoom very nicely um, but if we change this to 270 and uh, zoom out a bunch and then flip around we should be able to just get this thing into view here awesome so now we have this we can uh, so the textures came through the glb file so we're fine there uh, some of the size is, uh, well, essentially what I did was I just chose our size. Um, I converted it to uh, all the blocks, essentially. And then uh, down here you can choose, assign different Minecraft blocks. And this is where you can actually play a lot with well, whether you want it to be more accurate in color or a little bit smoother. Um, I played a little bit of bit with this uh, mainly for this uh, logo and the flag here to get them roughly right but I mean I know I'm going to go in and reassign them anyway in world edit so it's really to get the shape of it but what I did at this point is just export it and then loaded that in to Minecraft so I'll show you uh, what that looked like uh, so here was my first one uh, which is 
pretty blocky. Again, I'm not too worried about the colors. Really, it was a matter of the size. So we're kind of using World Edit to figure out the size height of this. You can see some sneak, sneak bits inside there are some other versions, but we'll get to them shortly. Um, and here, this was 94 blocks, right? So I wanted 160. Um, so there's just a bit of a process of going back and forth and uh, choosing slightly bigger, slightly bigger, slightly bigger until it got to about the right size. Um, this one, how big was this one? I'll oh, we'll start here, it's a little bit closer. So, point one, this point, that's 143, so that's still not quite tall enough. Uh, I think this is the one that was finally the right size. So, there, there, 160. Perfect. Um, so, then there was a kind of an exercise of just going through, uh, selecting regions with World Edit, replacing them uh, with kind of concrete. Uh, yeah, and kind of. Some of these things were kind of on the to-do list, um, but we, we're getting there. Um, main thing was to get the shape, to get the size, because I actually wanted to start to build this thing concurrently in survival. So I, I really wanted to just get the, get the foundations down so I could get started. Okay, so that's the exterior, roughly designed for now. Next video, we'll start to look at the interior. Any feedback, ideas or encouragement that you have, just let me know. Have a great day.